Microscopy is experiencing a revolution. Developers around the world are working together to push microscope technology to the streams. The V Center is joining them. With our LIGI technology, we integrate innovative tools to look at the fluorescent signal within wall organs. We do more than microscopy. So we first prepare the sample and then remove the lipids from the tissue to make it completely transparent. With light sheet imaging, we can now optically slice samples with a sheet of light. Our light sheet microscope acquires images of the sample and we use specialized software to combine the images and build up a 3D picture. And we can even visualize the entire 3D sample in virtual reality. You know, my research is focused on spinal cord injury and finding treatment to improve recovery. A revolution came in neuroscience. Suddenly we can visualize the central nervous system transparently without cutting it. For us, that's been a game changer. So really, this microscope has completely changed the way we are now addressing anatomy and been really for the very first time to be able to say clearly whether our treatments have worked or not. Now we have been able to show the entire spinal cord and really see these regenerating fibers going through the injury and beyond. And without any doubt, you can claim a real, true regeneration of the spinal cord. In my uh, lab, we're interested in uh, how the brain generates behavior. For this reason, we look at the activity of single neurons and the obvious would like to understand how the neurons talk to each other. And for that reason, we need tools to look who talks to who in the brain. After having imaged the brain, we end up with a volumetric map of some specific connections. But then we need to make sense out of that. We need to get numbers, we need to understand. So this is where the AI will come into play and help us. To, uh, to do this kind of analysis. Our vision is also to develop these IT tools by setting up collaboration with researchers, the specialists in this field. So if the technique can accommodate even larger brains, such as ultimately a human brain, that would help us to draw parallels between anatomy in mice and men. And that is certainly one of the ultimate goals.